Apple cider vinegar is a type of vinegar made from fermented apple juice. The production process involves actually crushing apples to extract the juice, then adding yeast to that liquid to initiate the fermentation process. During fermentation, the sugars in the apple juice are converted into alcohol. Subsequently, acetic acid bacteria are introduced to the alcohol, turning it into acetic acid, which gives vinegar its sour taste and strong smell. The term apple cider vinegar often refers to the unpasteurized, unfiltered version of this vinegar. This type of vinegar retains its natural amber color and may contain strands of proteins, enzymes, and a beneficial bacteria known as the mother. The mother is a colony of acetic acid bacteria and is often considered a sign of a high quality raw apple cider vinegar. It's worth noting that filtered and pasteurized versions of apple cider vinegar are also available at the stores, but they may lack some of the beneficial components found in the unfiltered, unpasteurized varieties. So we all know that apple cider vinegar is used in cooking and a lot in sauces and salad dressings. In addition to its culinary uses as a condiment and an ingredient in various recipes, apple cider vinegar has gained popularity for its potential health benefits. The first is actually for weight loss. Some studies propose that apple cider vinegar may help with weight loss by promoting the feeling of fullness, leading to reduced calorie intake. Another benefit of apple cider vinegar is for blood sugar control. So research suggests that apple cider vinegar might have an impact on improving insulin sensitivity and lowering blood sugar levels, particularly after meals. This could be a great addition to managing diabetes, but of course, make sure that you speak to your doctor before making any changes to any diabetes treatment plans. Okay, so the next benefit is heart health. A few studies actually indicate that apple cider vinegar has a positive effect on heart health by reducing bad cholesterol levels, though they are not sure yet why. Apple cider vinegar also shows promising results in lowering blood pressure, which also makes it super heart healthy. So apple cider vinegar also has antimicrobial properties. This makes it a great antibacterial and antifungal product. You can actually use it as a cleaning solution if you mix it with water to dilute it. You could use it for cleaning surfaces in your house or even for cleaning produce from the grocery store. Another microbial use could be for a natural mouthwash. Again, make sure you're diluting it with water to reduce the acidity, but that acidity will actually help combat the bacteria that's in your mouth. Just watch out as it is acidic, so it can be damaging to your tooth enamel if you're not watering it down enough. Finally, the antimicrobial properties make it great for food preservation, such as pickling and canning. When you use apple cider vinegar for pickling, the acidity helps prevent the growth of harmful microorganisms, which is what makes pickled vegetables last so long in jars and cans. So we've talked all about heart health, antimicrobial benefits, blood sugar control, and weight loss. But there's also some studies that prove that apple cider vinegar can assist with the health of your digestive system too. Some people actually use apple cider vinegar to alleviate issues such as indigestion and bloating. It has been documented as successful for increasing stomach acid production since it is acidic already and it may help with breaking down food in your stomach and therefore helping with absorption of all the proteins and the nutrients from the food that you eat. Now, if you're considering adding apple cider vinegar to your diet for its potential health benefits, it's advisable to start with small amounts and make sure you're consulting with a healthcare professional, especially if you have any existing health conditions or you're taking any medications. All right, that is all I have for you today. Be well, everybody, and I'll see you next time.